everyone. I'm Jess from Reap What You Sow. I just wanted to come out and show y'all the babies. I get, come on, Daniel, but look at Willow. She's kind of had her afternoon bottle, and she thinks she's going to get another one, but she sure ain't. I see Daniel's getting to nurse before I turn Hannah loose. Willow is so spoiled. Hi, Daniel. Go on, Willow. Watch, watch her. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> She's gonna get over here. Oh. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Y'all see her? Look at her. She's jealous. Willow, you let Daniel get some love and chew, huh? Mm. Hey, guys. I one day I bent down like that to give Daniel a kiss, and he headbutted me right in the head. <laughs> Almost knocked me slap out. You see this one? You can't do nothing with it. Mm. Watch here. Hey, Daniel. Well, I, oh, she got my hair. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> hey, Daniel. Daniel. Let Daniel up here. Come on, Daniel. Mm. Willow, what we gonna do when you get to be a big girl, huh? What we gonna do? I am tired, guys. I worked all day. I cleaned out their stalls and I put pine straw down. So instead of buying a uh, straw or the shavings to put down in their pen, we have an abundant supply of pine straw. So I'm all about using what you have so you don't have to go spend money on stuff that you really don't need, where the pine straw works great. You know, so all I do is take a pitchfork and I go in the woods underneath the trees and I just use the pitchfork and to pick up the hay, up the straw. Did you knock Daniel off? To pick up the straw, and I just put it in the back of our little Kubota, and I bring it back, and then I just lay it down in there, and they love it. They don't have a problem. Willow, you are driving me insane. Come on, Daniel. You let Daniel get over here. Come on, Daniel. She runs you off, don't she? Yeah. No, look, she's down. Come on. Oh, come on. Ah. Now watch Willow. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Daniel. Willow, look at Daniel. Oh, Daniel. <laughs> oh, Daniel. <laughs> we teasing her. We teasing her. What you gonna do? You gonna push him off? You're biting, Daniel. Uh-oh. But that's it, guys. I, that's what I've done all day. It took me all day. And, whoo, I had to hurry up. And about noon, I went and took me a shower, and I had to take me a nap, or I wouldn't have been up this afternoon. Willow, watch Daniel headbutt. Look. I got a bruise on my hip from him doing that. Well, are you going to protect me? Look, see a rub where he was? She's so stinking jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, if you bite my ear. <laughs> All right, let's go look at the big goats, y'all. Let's let Hannah out. Come on, Hannah. Well, are you staying? You stay in. Come on in. Hey guys, when I uh, pulled up the straw, I put down some DE too. Come on, Anna. You're not staying with the babies. You go.
about to pop, but look at this mama. <laughs> She's about to pop. Her ligaments are squishy too. Come on, Boone. No, go on. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. But these are the girls right here. This is Doris right here. This is Blo Blossom. I don't know if you can see her. This is Blossom right here. This is my little granddaughter, Blakely. This is her little goat. This is Tilly with the brown and black striped face. And this white and black one over here, that's Sonic. And this is Boom. But Sonic is actually Boom's baby. And this is our Nigerian dwarf buck. This is Badger. He is so pretty. And that's Hannah. Y'all saw her. Look how pretty Badger is. He is just gorgeous. And he has moon spotted babies too. So we don't have any of Badger's babies because we uh, haven't been too long got him. But uh, everybody's pregnant. <laughs> So, except Boone's baby, uh, she was pregnant when we got her. So, but that's everybody. You see how I put this pine straw down? And I just got this round feeder thing here that Todd's daddy had made. Uh, what do you make that out of? That's the end of propane tanks. The end of propane tanks. And uh, so I just put their feet in there. I feed them in there. And then I feed Hannah in with the uh, Willow and Daniel. So, but y'all wanna go and look at the rabbits? They are on top of the tin feeding up there and I hadn't put nothing up there. Y'all getting some corn today instead of grass, huh? Guys, we pulled our uh, buck out to where we can, uh, to where all the does uh, are not bred and all the babies are grown to where we can work on this pen. So uh, we can't add to it uh, if they've got babies and stuff in there. So we've got him out, and I saw one doe this morning. She had a mouthful of straw, and she was running with it. So she must have gone somewhere building her nest.
this is where we have uh, we moved the meat chickens that was in that pen that was too congested with too many in there. We kept the blue lace blind dots in there and we uh, moved these uh, meat chickens to over here. And we got our little ducks in there. Uh, we moved them in there to where we can train them that that's where they're gonna sleep at. Before we, listen to that turkey. Before the turkey and Sonic, <laughs> before we turn the ducks loose so they'll know where to come back to at night and roost. I guess ducks roost, is that what they do? <laughs> they go in there to where you keep them away from the predators. That's what you call a chucker right there. Or a partridge, it's the same thing. That's a bob white quail, that's a female. That's a male bob white right there. over there. He's beautiful. His tail feathers are growing out. When we got him, he didn't have any tail feathers. And I've got a bunch of little baby pheasants that just has hatched. the male and the fez the female. I'm gonna go give these girls a little bit so they're shut up. We can't even hardly film without them. Come on girls. Come on. No doors. I guess I can give ribeye a little bit too. Give her a scoop. Everybody has done an eight, but because we are out here, they think they gotta eat again. They have got it tore up in here, digging. That's where all the babies are at. Okay, I'm finally using this little nest box. That is the Bob White quail eggs. They are little bitty eggs. He said he couldn't reach the feeder, he just jumped on top. Badger's trying to steal some of the cow's food. Three guineas and 
all of those are males. But we have some that we just had. show y'all my garden just a little bitty glimpse of it and stuff and so y'all can see how much it's grown we're in the process of working in here and we got a video that's going to be coming out with uh us loading up the mulch and stuff like that but i had put down some mulch in front of this so i don't have to weed eat to try to keep the grass down and uh these are some mixed jewels that i had got from baker creek and uh those are some blue boys i think that's what they call them and those are petunias in that pot over there and this pot over here uh i used to beg todd's daddy for this pot he would always tell me when i die you can have it <laughs> and i'd say herb you're not doing nothing with that pot let me have that pot and uh he kept on i kept on asking for that pot and he wouldn't give me that dang pot this was his mom's pot and he told me that his mother would go in the woods hog hunting, kill a hog, drag it back out of the woods, and skin it and clean it to feed them kids. That was one tough woman right there, babe. But uh, I kept asking him for this pot. So you know what that old hateful thing did? <laughs> he went and drilled a hole in this pot. <laughs> so I could have killed him. But uh, I use it for flowers. He's passed away, and so uh, I got the pot. <laughs> but uh, I've got some petunias planted in here. But I got some peach trees right here I have not got in the ground yet. And I got some Japanese plum trees that I got from a friend of ours. And uh, I haven't got them in the ground yet. I'm, I'm just one person. <laughs> so come on, look how much my garden has grown, y'all. Well, this is the same thing over here. Uh, I did a copy of what I got planted over there. I did right here. And if you come on around this way and look right here, I've got uh, purple and uh, gold zinnias. Now, I don't know why I got purple and gold zinnias, <laughs> but these are purple and gold right here. And uh, I got some oregano. I just bought me a burlap sack from the tractor supply for, it was $1.25, I think. And uh, I planted me some oregano in that. And my lilies that I got from uh, the shindig, I got planted behind each tractor tire and some over there by the fence. And I've also planted some hummingbird vine to vine up this trellis. And I got time in that uh, bag over there. But if you can see, we've been laying down mulch in here. And I moved some parsley over here out of the uh, greenhouse and stuff. But look how big my uh, purple cauliflower has got. And look at my uh, running butter beans. They are now trying to uh, climb uh, this little trellis arch here. But oh, I can't wait. I was out here this morning helping them, you know, get around. But this is the cabbage. It's grown. It's starting to make a head down in there. And these are my little uh, King Tut purple peas. It's climbing good and latching on all by itself. I just tied it when it first got started, and it's just doing good. But over here... We got, this is, look at my blueberries. Look at the blueberries on here. I got this bush and I got a big bush over there and I got another bush over there. But I am going to uh, clip this, this winter, and I'm gonna take clippings and pot them and then I'm gonna plant them back over there. Uh, you see those troughs all along that fence over there. I'm gonna plant nothing but blueberry bushes over there. And, but look at my uh, celery. This is that, uh, I think it's that red celery. Let me see, giant, yes, giant red celery. It has grown. And this is the first time I've ever planted celery, so. And these are my peppers here. They're looking good. I need to pull a little grass. It takes every day of pulling grass to keep up with this. And I haven't pulled grass today. 
because I was busy cleaning the uh, goat pens. But uh, look at here, my poblano peppers are blooming. I'm so excited. They got little bitty buds where they're about to bloom on there. This one has, look, see that under there? And I've got four poblano peppers. And these, these right here, oh, look at there. Look at that cayenne pepper on that one. I didn't even see it. But uh, these is my Chinese noodle beans. I planted them on both sides because I want the Chinese noodle beans here to run up. And you know, they are yard long noodle beans. So I want them to hang down. And can you imagine the girl's face when they see those long beans hanging down? They'll be tickled pink. But look how my tomatoes have grown. They are doing really good. I, uh, it kills me to see that grass in there. Uh, I moved some more basil out of the greenhouse to over here. And uh, this is just that cinnamon basil here. But uh, that's it, guys. That's what we've been working on and everything. And if you like our little short video, I hope it's short. <laughs> if you like our video, give us a thumbs up. You know, that helps the thumbs up. When I visit somebody's site, the first thing I'm doing when I go in, thumbs up subscribe to her channel you know and um share the love you know one person to another it's all about helping each other it's all about putting tips because you might know something that could help us and we might know something that can help you so share your knowledge with everybody so we can all help one another you know we're not in this by ourselves you know there's thousands of people that's homesteading trying to raise their own foods and stuff so let's work as a team and do this thing together. But thanks, guys. Don't forget to subscribe.